Hello students, this video is for those of you who, for whatever reason, will not be in class today to explain to you what the demo is so that you can come sometime and see me outside of class, show me the demo yourself, understand it, show me you know how to make the graph. So we're going to do a demo, a kind of activity that will help us to see why linear functions are graphed the way they are. That'll eventually help us to understand slope-intercept form, a kind of equation. So. Uh, the word function in English comes from the Latin word fungor, which can mean, among other things, to pay or contribute. And I'm speculating that the idea is that if you pay money into something, you're going to get something out. So a function is where you input a value, the x value, you get something out. That's the y value. And you can graph those on an x and y axis. So we're going to use money, <laughs> fake money, as a demo to illustrate uh, why a linear function is what it is. So you'll need graph paper. If you want to make the graph at home, uh, you can bring it in and show me. But I am going to ask you to show me the demo itself when, when we meet. So when you make your graph, do your x and y axes with the origin, the zero point, kind of down to the bottom and I guess that's the left hand side of the paper to leave yourself maximum space in the first quadrant because everything's going to be positive. And we're going to let each square represent 10 spaces. Uh, so one unit on the graph is going to equal $10. So when we graph our function, we're going to treat one. Uh, one square is $10. Actually, we, we might want to change that a little bit depending on how much money you use. Maybe it should be more like one square equals $5. We'll see if we have those. So, we're going to start with the idea of investing. If you open a savings account or if you invest, you put in a certain amount of money. The money that you put in is called the principal, which is from the Latin word principium, which means the starting point or the beginning. So let's say you open a savings account with $100. So $100 is your starting point. The bank will pay you interest on that principal every year. So we're going to assume for the sake of our demo that the bank is only paying you interest on that original $100. And we're going to assume that it's 10% just to make the numbers easy. That'd be a really good interest rate, probably not realistic. But let's say you open a savings account with $100, you give it to the bank, and the bank is going to give you money back. So let's say each year you get 10% interest on that $100, that's $10. 10% of 100 is $10. So the bank is going to give you $10. So at the end of one year, you're going to have 110. But then at the end of two years, how much are you going to have? The bank pays you another 10. You're going to have 120 if you don't touch that savings account. At the end of three years, you're going to have 130 if you don't touch that savings account. Again, we're assuming the bank is only paying you interest on the original principal $100. That is a linear function. So when we plot that on a graph, let's say we start with 100. This might not work. These numbers might not work on the graph. But let's say we start with $100. So the time is 0. No time has passed. So the x value is 0. The x value is going to be time. Should have put that time in years. And the y value is money in dollars. Okay, I should have labeled my y and x axes. So at the beginning of this process, you have $100. You're starting with $100. But every year, you get an extra 10. So after one year passes, I'm going to put a dot showing $110. After two years pass, we put another dot showing 120 After three years pass, 130 after four years pass 160 and so on. We connect all those dots, which I did very clumsily. We get a, a straight line uh, with, with a slope. The line has a slope. If we want to project, let's say you're thinking to yourself, okay, what if I open this savings account and I keep it for 10 years? That is called a projection. We send the line further along past the data we have into the future. So it's called a projection, which literally means in Latin, I think something like throwing forward. So we only have actual data for five years, but we can project that if you keep that savings account for more time than that, your 
the total money is going to go up. It's a linear function because it makes a straight line. If it were compound interest, it would not be a linear function, but that's a topic for another day. So in today's demo, we're going to work in teams, and each team is going to have some fake money. Not this exact same problem. It's going to be a different principle. Uh, well, maybe some we'll have either $100, $200, $300, 400 500 as the principle, and then the interest rate is going to be 5%, which is more realistic. So I'm going to be asking scholars in class <clears throat> to do the demo for me to show me they understand it while they graph the linear function. So that's pretty much what we're doing. Again, if you don't make it to class today, this video is for you to understand what the demo is. When you come see me, if you want to make it up, uh, I want you to show me the demo, show me how to graph it. You know, viva voce, show me, not just turn in a graph that you could have copied from somebody else. Uh, show me that you can do the demo and understand how to do it. From here, this will help us understand why slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And that's going to be our next topic, maybe next week. Thank you.